All right, guys, we're going to start this range test. It's Tuesday, March 5th, 79 degrees here in South Carolina. Feels amazing. And we just got the big battery Husky 2 installed. 100 amp hour battery. There it is. It's a pretty nice battery there. I love the mounting, uh, different mounting options on this right here. The Bluetooth functionality, the gauge, everything about this battery is really nice. The Husky one was my favorite battery from Big Battery. That was my all time favorite. So I can't wait to test this new Husky 2 out. But anyways, we got the GoPro 10 mounted in front of the golf cart there. About to start this range test. Just, we're just gonna run headlights and taillights, the DC to DC converter and the GoPro as well off the battery. So everything's set to zero. I'm gonna set the phone up here to measure distance and speed. And um, we'll catch you guys at the end of this test. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna go over the new lithium iron phosphate battery from bigbattery.com. This is the Husky 2. A few years ago, I did a video review and range test of the Husky 1. It was probably my favorite battery from bigbattery.com till today. However, this new and improved Husky 2 has a lot of features. And we're gonna go over all of that today on today's video. We're gonna get it installed in our club car president. We're also gonna do a range test as well. I will say I've had this battery now since around December and for about a couple of months talking back and forth with bigbattery.com, there has been some changes made to the battery and we're gonna go over that as well and uh, see exactly what kind of punch this right here battery packs. Let's get started. All right, so we got the big battery Husky 2 here on the bench. Let's go over some things first. You know, like what are all of these nut syrups here? You know, what are that? We'll go over that. Um, but first, let's go over the length of the battery here. And the length is coming in just around 18 inches long. The top of the battery is coming in I would say just under 10 inches tall, and that's exactly to the top up here and not down here. Now the depth of the battery is coming in just around, I'd say about 12 and 5 eighths inch deep. A couple of extra good things about this battery here is you can run these things in parallel, and they're IP67 rated, and they also have the self heater built into them. That's what that means. So let's say you live in a colder climate, you live up north, and it's down below 32 degrees. Well, once you place the battery on charge, there's heaters built into the battery. And before the battery starts charging, the charger is going to power the heaters on. So the cells of the batteries will not be damaged by the cold weather while it's charging. So what are these nut certs here for, right? Well, this right here is for different mounting points and locations. So let's say you wanted to mount the battery flat down against a uh, you know your floorboard of your golf cart or your application well it comes with each battery comes with two of these angled brackets here and there and you can place this right here there with the provided hardware to go in there and you can mount it down there if you wanted to mount the battery on its side well you could do that as well because this bracket you can mount it right there stand the battery up mount it in that application now let's say you wanted to hang the battery, you could do that as well. Put your screws in here, mount it like this right here, location there. So basically Big Battery is giving you four different mounting configurations per side, and you can do that as well. You also have these plates here on the side. You could use this right here, mount it just like this right there. Okay, you can kind of sit it like on like a shelf or something. And what could you use this bracket for? Well. Let's say you had two of these Huskies, you know, and they were right beside each other. Well, you can make one main Husky out of it, and you could use this and this to like daisy link the batteries together, where one wouldn't slide forward or back or left and right. They would both have to slide like that. And then if you did that on the far end of the battery, you could put your foot down here, just like this right here, and mount one side of the battery down, you mount the other side of the battery down as well, and the battery is now stable. So that's pretty cool, you know, idea that they had there. Solar uh, system in a house, multiple options of mounting the batteries. All right, so the battery features a 100 amp hours of capacity, 
100 amps of maximum charge current and it's not listed here but the battery uh, is rated at 150 amps of continuous output the system voltage is 48 volts nominal is 51.2 and the battery has 5.12 kilowatt hours now when i received the battery in december it came with the studs up here and this was one of the things i was talking with big battery about and saying well I really don't care for the studs. I like the female ports better than I like the, the male studs here. So the new Husky 2 batteries do not have the male studs. They now have female inserts with a bolt that go down into them. You can tighten your positive and your negative polarity. So on top of the battery, you're gonna have a power on and off switch. You're gonna have two different ports. These are CAN bus ports, okay? And they include a gauge now with the system. This is what the gauge looks like. It's got enough extension to run to the front of the golf cart. I believe this is around 10 feet in length. Let's go ahead and plug it in. And let's turn the battery on. This right here gauge should pop on in just a second. There it goes. It's reading 53.4 volts, 99% battery capacity left. We'll install this right here gauge on today's video as well. Now let's say you don't install the gauge. Well, the top of the battery also has a power meter on there as well. 25, 50, 75, and 100. Also has an alarm in the run, which means it's good to go. And we're good to go right now. And if you're wondering about the, you know, the RS-45, the, the, the second port for the CAN bus here, uh, let's say you have two of these batteries in parallel. You got one here and you got one here. Well, this right here would go to your main gauge. And this other uh, CAN board port here, which was the RS-485, it'd go between this and the opposite battery or the other battery. Uh, for like a telecommunications port, to share information between the batteries um, as well. So just to give you, you know, as much information as possible between the two batteries, that's what that second port is there for. And this is Big Batteries Waterproof Onboard Charger. You can use it as an onboard charger. You can actually... You know, mount it to the wall. You got two mounting points to mount it against this back panel here, or you got a you know a feet here where you can mount it like that as well. So you can mount it on your golf cart, or you can mount it in your garage and use it like that as well. Um, the input power cable you have six feet of that, and the output cable you have a positive and a negative with ring terminals on it, like so, and you got six feet of that as well. So on the back of the charger here, it shows us this is uh, for lithium iron phosphate, which matches this battery here. It has a 20 amp output, and it's got an output voltage of 57.6 volts. This is for a 110 volt uh, outlet. Now, if you opt for Big Batteries Husky 2 kit, this is what it's gonna come with. You got some straps to remove the battery, pick it up, and I'll help you pick it up. It's gonna come with a positive and negative two gauge cable. You're gonna have your gauge, obviously, with the mounting bracket. And you're gonna have their waterproof onboard charger, as well as the battery. So I just cut some two by fours, laid them into the bottom of the bucket. Took some thick enough screws, went through the bottom of the bracket, into the wood. This right here battery isn't going anywhere. It's centered into the battery tray compartment, you know? So I uh, got it up a little bit high enough as well. Still got plenty of room. Next thing I'm gonna do is run the meter from the battery itself to the dash and get it installed. Well, there it is, guys. Range test is over with. We are at 3%. I think we knocked down around 37 miles on this test. We were running for around an hour and 49 minutes and 37 seconds on a golf cart. That's a long time, not gonna lie. This right here battery did great though, not gonna lie. I already like this battery. This is not the last time you guys will see this battery as I plan to put this right here, either in my carry-all or maybe a John boat. That's gonna be a conversation for a different time though. However, I appreciate you guys watching the video this far, if you've made it this far.